Guys, I'm not going to lie, that cabbage has me farting like an absolute <laughs> savage right now. <laughs> oh, ice cream. Looking forward to getting that. I am fuller than the fat man in Austin Powers right now. What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Initially we had a really nice hiking video planned for you guys today uh, through this Kasprovie Birch mountains <laughs> but we received a lot of warning SMS in the last few days about the weather and today it actually doesn't look so nice outside so instead what we're going to do is we're gonna get cozy and sample some local beers and delicacies that you guys recommended to us so let's do this. So guys, our first stop today is going to be Goralski Brovar here at the top of our shopping center on the main street of Krupovki in Zakopane. And we actually have a whole list of foods to try here today. Thanks to you guys commenting down below on our videos. We received tons of comments from you about different food that we need to try while we are exploring around Zakopane. It's the Silesian or Silesian cuisine, I believe, if that's how you pronounce it. And we are supposed to sample, I'll give you guys the list breakdown here just nice and quickly. Oshi Pek cheese. It's basically like grilled or smoked cheese with cranberry. Oshi Pek Zuravina. Uh, we also have potato pancakes covered in goulash. That sounds amazing. Golonka, which is supposed to be like a pork knuckle or like a ham hock. We've got kvasnika, which is a salty soup. We've borscht, which is, I hope I'm pronouncing that one right, is also a soup. We're gonna throw hopefully the titles up guys so you can read as we're going along here. And then we have zarlotka and kolash as desserts. Zarlotka is supposed to be like a traditional apple pie and kolash is supposed to be like the tunnel cake. So we are very excited and we're gonna try and tick as many as we can Hello, off sir, this list today. Another? Now we also have a list of beers, Polish beers that we're gonna be trying today, hopefully as well. You have the Tiski beer, Zuber or Zuber beer. I hope I'm, I'm gonna butcher a lot of these pronunciations. Zuber, you've got Lech, you have Zivic or Zwejc and Tatra as well. Now, we just ordered our food and I got a Zweich or a Zweich beer. Super excited to give that a try. I've never actually tried any Polish beer. So as an Irish man, I'm very excited to sample some of this Polish beer. We also ordered our food as well and I went for the Oshpek smoked cheese with cranberries. And uh, yeah, it should be an exciting day ahead. I cannot wait. I'm very hungry and I'm very thirsty too. So what did you order? <laughs> <laughs> She's busy trying to pronounce the food. Okay, you guys. Oh. I, ooh, that was a, that was fast. Dziękuję. <laughs> <laughs> Dziękuję. Yeah. So first of all, I ordered this beer. It's called Nietzschwik <laughs> Rick. <laughs> and I ordered Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and I ordered the potato pancakes with goulash, so I'm so looking forward to getting that. <laughs> that beer is actually very crisp and delicious. It seems to be on the lighter side. I tend to typically go for the lighter beers, so this one gets a thumbs up from me. Um, I definitely can't wait to finish this one and we are super excited now for our food too. Check this out guys, from the rooftop that we are sitting on right now you can really see all of the stormy clouds kind of rolling in over the mountains and it just started raining so I hope that the audio levels are okay for you guys to actually understand us. Okay, so the weather got a little bit extreme out there and we had to move inside um, which is very nice as well because the restaurant here is actually super nice on the inside. Wow, 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 wow. So we just got our food, the potato pancakes covered in goulash and I got the Oshpek uh, smoked cheese with cranberries on top. This just looks incredible super warm and cozy kind of like soul food to go with this very rainy weather outside it's kind of starting to get a little bit stormy and uh, yeah this couldn't be more of a perfect setting right now 
Okay, so first up, we are going to try the cheese. I'm not going to try and pronounce that dish again, I'm very sorry. Um, but it kind of looks like the smoked cheese that you can see all over um, Zakopane. <laughs> <laughs> and Krakow as well so you have like these little tiny stands kind of everywhere where you can see rolls um, that are this type of smoked cheese and it kind of looks like it's just that melted um, with a nice cranberry jam to complement the cheese itself so let's give this bad boy a try oh yeah this is fantastic actually very beautiful and then um, <laughs> the two flavor profiles really complement each other really well you kind of have the smokiness of the cheese and the sweetness of the cranberry jam that just go well together it just goes so well together right guys so Naomi likes it it usually means that I'm gonna like it after countless messages on Instagram comments under our YouTube channel we are finally going to try this incredible Oshpek smoked cheese with cranberry and I cannot wait. It seems to be kind of like a parcel that is just filled with smoked cheese. It seems to be a little bit on the bouncy side for a cheese. Nice big bite here. Yes, cranberry sauce goes perfectly with that smokiness. It's incredibly unique really really tasty and I'm sure that it pairs perfectly with this amazing Polish beer as well yes absolutely delicious after that amazing first course we are going to give a try to the potato pancakes with goulash first up the pickle mm. I'm a pickle fan I don't know about yourself but I am a big pickle fan. We actually bought an entire jar yesterday, but we picked the wrong one. It had chili in it, and I was a little bit dying after trying the very spicy pickles. But uh, let's try the potato pancakes here. Um, there is goulash with it, and I can see some mushrooms and cheese and some tomatoes. And of course, sour cream. Everything in Poland kind of comes with sour cream, and it's the best sauce ever for all of all things Polish cuisine. Um, I hope I didn't put too much on my fork. I'm sure it's gonna fit though. <clears throat> oh my god. The texture is so nice. The crunchiness of the pancakes with the taste of the goulash and the cheese on top it's just it's it just feels like kind of soul food it like warms you up from the inside and it's just beautiful it's like a festival in your mouth absolutely amazing okay guys so beautiful potato pancakes covered with goulash this just looks amazing there's a heavy sprinkle of cheese over the top as well and as Naomi said sour cream just goes with everything so let's dive right in and see it seems to be nice and oily we're gonna get that sour cream give it a nice spread here we go oh my god the pancake just melts in your mouth straight away. The goulash is nice and salty and it pairs perfectly with that potato. And the potato pancake is a little bit crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. And the goulash, as I, as I just said, you've got these little pieces of tender meat that just pair perfectly with absolutely everything and then the vinegary pickle on the side as well what more could you ask for on a rainy overcast day such as today super cozy soul food well that was a whole a lot of pancake but we are not going to surrender we are going to keep going we're going to keep trying all of these tasty dishes and we're going to go to the next place now in a few after this beautiful pickle this restaurant definitely brings some decoration ideas to my mind. Check out this <laughs> coat hanger. It looks like a little feet from a goat or something like that, I'd say. 
I'd love to have this unique piece in our house. <laughs> well, that was definitely one of the tastiest meals that we, I think, ever had. Um, it's very, very simple, but I think the more simple it gets, the better the meal actually is. And um, I really, really enjoyed it. What do you think? It was 10 out of 10. Everything was absolutely delicious. The beer complemented the food perfectly as well. And now, we're gonna head to our next destination, which again is another recommendation from you guys. Um, you guys really make everything possible on, on this channel. So you guys recommended that we go to a place called Karksma u Fikra, which is going to be the next restaurant. And we're gonna tick off maybe two more dishes on that list and possibly some more beer as well. So let's go. Okay guys, so we are now at our second location here for this beer and food tour. You ordered some beer? Thank you. Thank you. So we got, or I got, uh, Lech, or Lech, this one right here. And um, again, a beer that I have never tried before. So I'm very excited and Naomi decided to go for this one, which I believe is Kiazec Zwote Pieznice. Now I'm probably totally destroying the pronunciation of that. Let us know down in the comments if you can break it up and really tell us how to pronounce that one because that is a very long name for a beer. Now, in terms of food, what we're gonna go for is the golonka or the pork knuckle. Um, that is pork knuckle in beer with fried cabbage. And then other than that, we're gonna get a soup, which is the kvaznica soup. And that is sort of Poland's take on a sauerkraut soup, I believe. So very excited. I forced Luke to pronounce that one because just looking at it, I was like, it's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's very, very light, kind of malty, but light. Super nice. That's actually the beer, by the way, that the waiter um, recommended here, so that's why I went with it. So I just tried this one here, the Lech beer, and to be honest, I prefer this one to the last beer that I tried. I don't know why, it just it has a taste profile that I definitely like better. It just seems to be a little bit on the lighter side, more fresher, crispier taste, and uh, really, really nice. Definitely a beer that I could see myself regularly drinking. I'm really happy with the choice of beer as well. Sorry, I'm starting to get tipsy now after this beer marathon. Um, but this one is kind of, if you know, kind of Erdinger, like German Weizen, German white beer, um, that's a little bit what it feels like in your mouth, like just a mouth feel. Um, other than that, it's very mild and uh, more on the lighter side. So it's very refreshing, kind of more of an afternoon beer but I think I prefer the one we had in the last restaurant a little bit more than this one. It's too light. <laughs> okay guys, so I am being currently faced by a mountain of pork knuckle right here. I believe it's called Golonka. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I did some research into your guys' comments and super interesting. So we decided to, I decided to order this at this restaurant and I cannot wait to give it a try. I'm actually not too sure what way to even attempt to start eating this, but I'm gonna go and give it a try. Super tender, very tender pork. Try and get a nice piece off. And I'm just gonna try the pork on its own as it is right now. It's very hot and the steam is coming up. So let's give it a bite. 
<laughs> yes. Incredibly tender, beautiful, amazing taste. Nice and fatty as well. And I have a side of cabbage with this as well, plus some nice dipping sauces and a nice bit of bread as well. So this is the perfect dish to go alongside this beautiful beer as well. I'm gonna try the kvasnika or sauerkraut soup. <laughs> um, it is filled with potatoes, some pork I believe, obviously sauerkraut and some carrots. Just gonna go right in and try the sauerkraut with some soup. I'm scared to burn my mouth. Mm. Oh yes, this is so tasty. This seems like the perfect dish for a cold and kind of rainy day like today. It's absolutely tasty. A little bit on the like obviously on the sour side because of the sauerkraut um, but beautiful. The meat on the pork knuckle is actually so tender that it falls right off the bone. You don't even need a knife, you could just eat this with a fork and it's beautiful. Um, also the cabbage, I believe they either put like, I think they put fennel seeds into the cabbage as well, which gives it like a really nice taste. It tastes a little Christmassy to me, um, which is so beautiful and I really enjoy this cabbage as well. The horseradish here is absolutely beautiful. Um, if you eat just like a, the tiniest bit of it, it completely cleans up, clears up your sinuses. Maybe it cleans it up as well. Um, you really have to be careful though. It might be a bit on the spicier side. So if you don't like spicy, it might not be the sauce for you. I enjoy it a lot though. This uh, Kvasnika soup is spectacular. It is genuinely the definition of a comfort food when I think of the sort of soup that I would go for on a rainy cold day such as we have today. Well the weather is actually very interchangeable right now. It actually looks really sunny now that I'm talking about it being cold and rainy but this soup is just perfect. You have everything you could ask for in there. You've got pork, potato, sauerkraut and a whole bunch of beautiful seasonings in there too and it really just gives you that warm cozy feeling when you take a spoonful. So Naomi has dared me, dared me to try the horseradish. I am definitely not usually a fan of horseradish so i'm gonna give it a little bit of a try just a little bit it's a lot it's a lot okay i'm gonna no, try it it's okay okay <laughs> okay I can definitely breed better after that, but wow, that's an incredibly strong horseradish. Even the weaker types of horseradish for me is a little bit too much, but this one really kicks your butt. It's nice though, it has a little bit of a zing to it. It was a lot of beer and a lot of food, uh, but so, so tasty. And both of those restaurants actually seem to be very, very popular with the Polish people or with the locals as well. Um, so I do think both of the restaurants should be on your list in case you ever decide to visit Zakopane. Well, I am, I am fuller than the fat man in Austin Powers right now. And not gonna lie, I'm a little bit tipsy as well. Me and Naomi, typically we don't regularly drink, but that beer was absolutely delicious. Uh, it paired so well with the food that we had. That restaurant actually was spectacular. The inside area was amazing. The outside area was beautiful as well. The way it was designed was very traditionally done. The atmosphere was just fantastic and it was incredibly reasonably priced as well. 
So that food, the galonka that I had, it really, really was something special. Um, it's something that I definitely will order again at some stage. We're planning on being in Poland for quite some time, maybe like another two or possibly three months. It all depends how our travel plans come together. As Naomi said at the beginning of the video, we were meant to go hiking today, but the weather is very unpredictable and it's very overcast and kind of stormy in some places. We actually went up to Gubawówka yesterday um, and the views up there were absolutely spectacular and we cannot wait to eventually go to Kasprowy Wirch as well. We actually love Zakopane so much that we have extended our stay here by four nights. So we're actually going to be staying here another um, four days, four nights, three days, four nights, however that works out. Um, five days, five four days, nights. five days, four nights. Yeah, the beer is taking its toll on me now, but we truly love this place and hopefully we are going to be able to film another few videos here in Zakopane because we're just blown away by how much stuff there is to do here. Um, there's so many different things that we're planning on doing, such as the Kasprowy Wirch hike. As I said, we did Guba Wówka um, just the other day, and that was truly spectacular in itself. And we're planning on doing a whole bunch more stuff. So if you guys are watching this video, make sure to hit that beautiful red, subs red subscribe button and come along with us on this journey because we have a whole lot more Polish content coming you guys' way. That's not English. I guess before we get all the way home, I just want to say thank you to all of the restaurants and all of the waiters that have been serving us today. Um, it was really an absolutely incredible day. And as I said, again, all of the restaurants that we visited today should be on your to-do list, to-visit list, to-eat list if you ever do come to Zakopane. But that's it from us uh, today, you guys. My name is Naomi. My name is Luke. We are the two Mad Explorers. This is your reminder to keep exploring, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao, guys. Bye-bye. Everything that we do is because of you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is a quick reminder that we have started our channel memberships and you can join super quick and easy. Just go and click that join button in our little channel banner slash whatever you call it and join up, see those perks and become a channel member today. Super cheap. It's cheaper than a cup of coffee at your local trendy hipster cafe situation. So go check out those perks and support the channel.